yeah i'm almost ready because you don't only need to be good when you ride cross country you also need to be cool Welcome to this video. Today we jump. We, we jump some cross country. Okay, let's do this. Yes. Yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. Is it possible to jump cross country in Sweden in November? Uh, outside where I live? No. But we're doing it inside. You know, it's something about when the riding hall is uh, yeah, nyharvat. <laughs> I mean, for you don't, don't, who don't talk uh, Swedish, you learn a lot in my vlogs. Yeah, is it any meaning, you know, to train cross country inside? Mostly, you know, you compete outside, so is there any meaning with it? Yes, it's actually quite, it's quite good. Uh, especially if you do it the first time, it's a little bit easier in a safe area like this. And also, uh, for a rider on my level, it's you know you can you can train a lot of technique in uh, indoor. And we're not like down in you know down in Europe when they can ride all year. We uh, you know we Vikings here up in the north. We need to be we need to be smart and you know do our best with what we have. And outside we have shitty weather so we we need to do it inside and tada the course is finished yeah so as you can see it's not that many fences actually it's uh, only a, a, ha a handful you don't really need more you can you know if you have a lot of imagination, as I have, <laughs> then um, you can do a lot here. And I also have one, oh, and now it don't, don't really look like a show jumping fence, but yeah, you understand what I mean. Uh, you know, and that I can use a little bit for warm up. Yeah, so here we have, and this is quite, you know, this, uh, what I would say, a quite high level course. Uh, the horse I will ride is an international level, so the, the fences there are not maybe compare what we can jump outside. They are a little bit smaller and that's what you should think about that. You know, when you go inside, make the fences a little bit smaller and mostly important that don't too wide because you know, you lose the speed uh, indoors. And you see we have flags and all the narrow fences, it's a little bit more skinny. That's because the horses, it's very good to train with them that they always have the flags. Now, if you are too much outside the flag, you, you know you get disqualified. Or yeah, they, they change the rules all the time. We are we have actually in Sweden now tried out a new way that you don't even allow to knock down the flag. Then you get seven penalties. I think it's going to be that way in the future, but yeah, we see. Uh, and also like a corner like this, I also want the flag so. Yeah, before I start, I just need to fix that. You know, there are red and white flags and the red should be on your right side and uh, the white on the left side. And some people, they, you know, when they train, they even, you know, see that the colors are the right ones. I don't believe that's necessary, but to have something like this, you know, that can really show the horses what, which way they are going, I think that's, that's good. And I also, for you who are watching that are interested in cross country or even our cross country rides, I always say, I mean, first of all, you never jump alone. I don't even do that. And also ride for a trainer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ride for myself today, but I mean, I'm, I'm an experienced rider on international level, but I'm, I'm still gonna have, I'm, I'm not alone. I'm, I never jump alone. And the course is ready and I need to go and change and also get the horse yeah and mm, i mean it's it's so i mean cross country it's the most fun you can do with a horse 
Uh, if you also believe so or not, tell me in the comments. Yeah, let's let's go. And here we have Therese. No, I just. <laughs> um, here we have him. This is Sinfire. Yeah, he's uh, he has a lot of thoroughbred in him, so you know, a lot of power, a lot of craziness. Uh, he's a seven-year-old, and uh, yeah, now he's a little bit nervous. He's yeah, he's a little bit nervous because we have this mosquito killer here. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's been competing two-star international, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, you, you should never say you know which horse is better than the. You should never compare your horses, maybe. I uh, maybe you should, I don't know, but um, he is probably the best one I have. But you never know. This is not working. I, I need to take them off. I can almost not see anything in them. So, Therese, if you can, thank you. Yeah, and Sune is a horse that I'm, I really, really like. He, uh, and I've been riding him now for, is it? A little bit more than one year, one and a half. And uh, before he came to me, he, he was uh, in a show jumping stable and he, he'd been jumping 1 and 30 classes uh, before in, in only show jumping before I started to ride him in eventing. So uh, he's, he's a good jumper, but now he's an even better cross country horse. This horse he has a massive gallop. I mean, he is the fastest horses I have. Um, you know, eh, when you when you tell him to go, he really. I mean, the power is is insane. <laughs> Well, now I've been warming up and as you saw, I did some uh, speed regulations. <laughs> uh, yeah, I changed the tempo. You know, a little bit forward, a little bit back, you know, that's very good before you jump cut country. And also I did a little bit of, you know, try the turns, you know, see that he can turn easily. And uh, so, but now it's time for start jumping. And it's very good when you jump inside to have, as I said before, as this, to have a show jumping fence because then you can make it a little bit smaller in the beginning and then make it higher as it goes. Yeah. And when I jump cross country in the warm up, I usually start a little bit slow, but I really important that the horse is in front of me. But you know. No problem. So most important, horse always in front of yourself and then for every jump, you know, you can turn up the speed a little bit. Here inside we don't go to very high speed, it's almost like show jumping uh, speed, but yeah, we can make the fence a little bit higher. Happy. <laughs> he knows what's coming. <laughs> I think now we can start jumping the other fences.
I have now jumped the fences a little bit in video, <laughs> in dwelt, uh, and um, yeah, now I start to you know put them a little bit more together, make it a little bit tricky, and I have I have not measured between the fences, and as you will see, I there will probably be a little bit of struggle uh, between, but that's that's you know the plan because when you ride you know out in the cross in the on competition it's not even if the it's measured between the fences it's, it, everything can happen so you see many times you know you know the riders are sitting like this and you know it's it's a lot of struggle between the fences so we actually train that by by not measuring and just you know uh, make the horses learn you know to find the way that's like very different from show jumping i believe they always are so pity with the <laughs> with how what's the distance you know ah. okay now I'm going to jump show jumping fence to skinny and as I told I don't really know the distance between it but he's a super horse <laughs> you really need to be fast in the corners because they come <laughs> yeah I mean that's that's super he's a super horse Yes, what we do next? Uh, oxer to a corner. Yes. <laughs> he really likes this. <laughs> Good horse. What can we do next? Yeah, we, we yes, we can take uh, the brush instead to corner. Then we get a little bit of a different angle. Yeah, there you can really see, you know, he's a little bit, he wants so much forward, but he's so smart there because he, he just he sees, okay, I need to work here and he puts in a, very short stride. I mean, they need to be able to do that. <laughs> but he really, I feel he just wants forward. You know, he loved this. Yes, okay, I mean, he's been, he's a super horse. Very good. Yeah, but uh, we need to finish with something, you know, like a grand finale. And uh, yeah, my plan is that we go skinny to middle brush. No, yes, we do that. Skinny, middle brush, and then uh, skinny here. So those, those three fences in quite an, an S turn. Yeah. Okay, I really need to, you know, get out the turn here so I uh, can jump in a little bit in this angle against almost the camera, because otherwise I will not be able to, you know, it's I, I put a tree in the way, so I can't go straight forward. I need to make a little bit of a turn. He just wants to go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, oh. I mean, it's a little bit hard here in the first turn. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's very good. We did it, we, we dropped a little bit of the balance because he was a little bit, you know, he's so happy. So I, I believe we take, I think we can do that better. We do it one more time. Oh, oh, oh. Quite a steep turn. Oh. Oh, oh. I was a little bit better. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, he wants to, you know, celebrate so much after the fences and sometimes he gets a little bit unfocused, but you know, I mean, he's a super horse. He doesn't need much time, you know, to make the decision and he does the right decisions and yeah, today was a little bit, <laughs> you know, it was a while ago. He lost, jumped cross country, so I mean, everything is normal. He should be a little bit on the on the edge. That's just a good indication that he really loves it. I mean, I believe you can see it. I mean, he's, he's screaming and he's, 
it's all over the place. I mean, uh, and that's good because if they don't like it, it's impossible. Yes, so today, you know, you could see how we crazy eventing riders train indoors. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> some riders are a little bit more, you know, about the style than me. I'm more about, you know, it should work. You need to make the, you know, the, the job has to be done. So, and I know I'm more that type of rider. I ride with a lot of, a lot of body. <laughs> a lot of body, <laughs> fun. <laughs> Anyhow, anyhow, uh, this was all for this time. I hope you liked it and that you want to subscribe and like this video. And you know, if you have a friend who you know, likes horses, send the video to, to him or her. Thank you for this time. Stay horsey. Bye. I've also heard that it's good to train so that if you're on the way to fly off, that the horse doesn't get scared. Ah, that you can hang so here and crawl up again. Because now I'm almost down on the back. Hur många tror nu att jag kan komma upp igen? Inte många. <laughs> Save! Oj. Save! <laughs> uh, tror jag klarar andra hållet? Okej. Okay. Så, duktig häst. Så, precis. Här är jag nästan av. Och sen får man kämpa sig upp. Börja. Duktig häst. <laughs> Också viktig träning. Nej, nu ger vi oss.